Welcome to Eve Singularity. I'm Major Freak. We're going to be testing uh, a rather eccentric Guardian fit and Lashak fit. Probably standard Lashak fit. Nothing too crazy. Let's bring out this. Nothing too exciting. I've switched out to uh, for passive resist in the bottom with a fair bit of buffer. I have um, on my ship a. See where I'm gonna put this stuff. Place it here, there, and I'll open my skill sheet. And I'll show you my implants, actually. These are talisman. I use them for... That was annoying. I use them for um, my fobs that I attack. Uh, pirate strongholds uh, go down pretty easy to these. Uh, and I discovered that I'm able... The major priority going against PvP targets upwells is the neutral an ECM, the ECM sum, and then neutralize the rest, and it really puts a damper on my game uh, when I'm bringing something without a lot of resist to uh, neutralizing. And of course, my FOB team is specialized in going against that kind of thing. This time I've switched out for a grappler, and I've also added change switched out the bottom not uh, as much specialized against uh, blood raiders but uh, omni tank and a lot more buffer because pvp okay so that's that one um i'll take a screenshot of that and i've already got this uh Lashax fit uh cut, cut and pasted already so i'll get that to you guys in the description the uh, level four logistics cruiser players are going to be testing that. Um, I'm training right now for level five, of course, because that's pretty much key. I have improved mine flood in cargo, taking that right now. That might compensate a bit. I uh, yeah, it's fairly eccentric actually uh, not doct not doctrine at all it relies on quite expensive uh, medium uh, dead space and of course the same talisman implants there you go all right so we're gonna try this out uh, I'm gonna do my best uh, I'm going to assume that the player, just for the my ease of the play, uh, that I'm not going to be see what a smart upwell player will do. We're going to turn this um, auto repeat off for both. Everything else is auto repeat on. I'm going to target paint that one it really increases the damage and I'm going to be neutralizing um, <laughs> they were all set to assist hereticus Get that back and make them behave. And oh, yeah, by the way, of course, uh, fighters, just let you know if you just noticed, um, they will react to uh, an well uh, and its fighters as though they were being attacked by a PvP target. I mean, a, sorry, uh, a rat, uh, PvE target. My bad. Yeah, we'll see what CPC, CP does the, to that in the future, but for now, 
this is how it goes. Okay, so I am going to uh, I'm going to pressure my cap chain pretty hard. Uh, when I get it set up, I'll um, attack with the fighters and the missiles, uh, cruise missiles. Uh, this shack right here, I will also neutralize heavily uh, both of them. Um, it's best if you do it at the same time. It has more oomph. Uh, it's got a chance of uh, turning off some modules, which is good. So we'll do that um, as soon as we've got my cap chain set up. And I'm assuming uh, for the basis of this test that I'm ECMing something else, uh, say two, two other, uh, I've got two other logistic ships locked down. So I have, we'll just pretend we, we have four Lodge on field and I'm e uh, the upwell gunner is ECMing both of them uh, off and on. Um, he'll most likely have it on auto repeat and just lock out to permanently. That will drain the capacitor eventually, uh, but at this point it's pretty much um, 20 minutes and three Lashak should take it down uh, in 15 minutes. So there you go. Okay, so let's set up. Um, I'm going to My Lashaks energy transfers on each other. What's going on? Okay, never mind. Um, and I am going to keep the reps uh, off for now. Uh, I'm going to target. Um, Hereticus, and I'm going to get ready to rep him, of course, with those. And with my Guardians, I'm going to start repping right away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go. Now I'm pretty much cap stable. Uh, in this fit right here, I'll show you the uh, Guardian simulated. I can either, with this setup, I can either have that cap stable or my pretty much kind of cap stable, not really, but close enough. Um, with level five uh, uh, logistics, this becomes cap stable. So just a heads up. Okay. And what I should do actually is get a screenshot of that. I think Rain had the I finally added rain to the test server. I was having problems before. Okay, I'll get that screenshotted. Hello. Set. Hereticus is selected. Select. 
selected. There we go. Cat chains are up. Cool. And of course, I'll hit that just to simulate that I'm moving too because I will be moving as well. Uh, orbit at 50, whatever. Get that going. And everybody whipping around. Uh, there we go. This is just to avoid getting bumped. Okay, so that's on. Let's start the party. Uh, heavily nuding. Major Freak. Now I'm assuming that because I don't have um, a level 5 that I might have some problems here. But uh, it's, it's an extremely generous uh, uh, fit too. So we'll see. It's looking pretty good so far. We'll check back later. Okay, and let's get the attack going. Now I'm assuming uh, that this will cut into its armor pretty quickly and I'll have to uh, adjust for uh, more armor reps in from uh, my less shacks. I'm getting it too far ahead there. I'm just going to hit approach. Approach. That should take care of things. enough yet. Yeah, I think Orbit was kind of screwing things up, I think. Alright. Hopefully I can speed up a wee bit more in the future, but for now we'll just keep it at half speed. going. I really don't want to take away that extra medium for an afterburner on the Logi. They're going fast enough I believe I'll be able to deal with uh, bumpers as soon as we start getting going here. 245 so if I increase that to say there Just on the M. I should do it. Okay. Everybody golden. Let's get these cat transfers going. 
All right, let's start this again. Just to confirm that's Cruz, right? Yeah, they're Cruz. There we go. Okay, so I did adjust the uh, the ship type I was using. I was using uh, Balgorn, and they were taking heavy damage. Uh, this is not as much. It's got, I guess, more resistant resist on it and the reps coming in are actually keeping it alive which is quite surprising uh, I was having quite a bit of trouble keeping it alive uh, when they were Balgorns but this seems to be pretty interesting okay so that's not working at all as you can see uh, I'll try to put in my fighters uh, and see what happens but um, Oops. There we go. Orbit at five hundred. This is a tech one. Tech twos have sixteen uh, kilometer range for the uh, disruptor. It is not a scrambler. But it's a perma. Okay, so what I'll be doing is I'm going to target that siren and see how long it takes to take it down. And we're going to web that sucker, and everything should attack now, except I web this one to stay in order. Everybody is attacking. Let's see how quickly that goes down. Um, it's not going down that quickly. Uh, missing a bit. Uh, we will try to slow it down. It's going 300. But, uh, Slow that down even further. That'll do the trick. Yeah, basically you're wiping them off the field pretty quickly. Um, and they're not doing a lot of damage. Um, I'll, s I'll just... Okay. How are we doing here? Well, it... Even with the fighters, it doesn't look uh, like we're cracking it. Quite uh, interesting. Wow. So they have no hope. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, the, uh, the medium reps are about 20% less effective than... Exactly here. Yeah, they do. Uh, they'll do three seventy six. Every six seconds. This one will, if you can get the tech two, will be doing uh, 512 and every six seconds. And if you do the math, 512 and the tech two costing a lot more power. Um, it's not that much, uh, fairly, uh, fairly interesting, uh, 376, cool. so that's, uh, it's, you're doing, if with large tech 2, you're doing 36% more 
So all combined, you're doing 36% more, which is if you've got three of these log logistics, it's like you've got a fourth, basically. If I'm doing my math right, I believe I am. Thank God for that. Yeah, so uh, I'd rather go with cap stability than an extra logi, seriously, when we're going up against this. It's, uh, all right, so we'll web that sucker. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty dead and going nowhere. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the cat stability is just fine, even with tech two tech twos uh, going full bore on that one. This is pretty much a successful test. What I will do now, though, is I'm going to switch attack to that one. So I'm going to start switching my attack to Made of Freak completely. See what I can do here, huh? Now this is, of course, assuming that it, this these are permanent jamming two other uh, guardians, the third and the fourth imaginary one. All right, and I'll need to go down to heavy missile. just for the hell of it. That's pretty funny. What did I do? Uh, nothing. So yeah, the, the damage is pretty interesting, but it's not instantly killing. So I'll apply all the reps onto, oh wait, dirt. One, two, three, four. And that should take care of it. I might need to increase like rep using others, but I think I can manage. Let's launch these and attack them as well. Come on. Orbit at 50. Go, go, go. Put those in close. So the reps are landing. Now let's add these guys. See what kind of damage we can do. Slowing 
down, getting in the range, and should be doing some damage now. Hmm. Fairly interesting. Yeah, so I didn't really need the reps from uh, the shacks at all. Kind of cool. And at no time was I ever worried about cap stability. Yeah, of course, now this is not seeing much because I've got these with auto repeat off so I could just say there's two more say there's uh, seven uh, pilots right here uh, four guardians and three Lashaks what I just do is have these two just I just cycle I just ECM this one, and this one, and then this one, and this one, and this one, two at a time, and just, just, just go, th just keep them, just keep it push hard now, if there was one player each, or, uh, you know, two maximum accounts per, you could probably not get away with pushing their micro too hard, but if it was just one player like me, and you were you know, cycling your ECM, uh, it would just be, it would be pretty difficult to keep it up. Um, I would need level five. I could probably do it because this is handily repairing. So I could probably get away with it, especially if I ganked a whole bunch of uh, the fighters, you know, uh, took out all the sirens and it would need no problem. It was, it's, Pretty decent uh, um, a strategy. Uh, actually, quite liking it. So yeah, I mean, the amount of incoming damage uh, should be spectacular uh, onto this. But uh, yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll turn this off and I'll go to light missiles. I don't think light missiles are going to do much because I'm not going fast enough to do more damage than that. But I'll just try just in case. Almost 100% sure it's going to do less damage. Oh, it did more. Oh, that's interesting. Okie dokie then. Let's pile it on. Now of course the resist hole for the major freaks is... EM. So if you had Templar, I believe it's the one. That might do a little bit more damage. Because look, I've got 90% armor explosive. So Templars could pressure this. Uh, but no guarantee. Because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Um, I think I've plumbed the depths of that one. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, yeah, cool. Can't think of anything. You know, 